What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek. And today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business. We're gonna look at the action which is convert file. So convert file allows you to change a file from one file format to another. So you can convert a PDF, to, a Word document to a PDF. You can convert a PNG to a JPEG and a couple other options. So that's what I'll take a look at today. So I'm in Power Automate here. I've got my OneDrive business flow and I've got a trigger which is when a file is modified and it's going to trigger on when things are modified in this Power Automate folder. We're also not going to include subfolders because I'm going to be uh, doing some stuff and we don't want it to constantly loop and trigger. So next we're going to click on new step. Then we're going to search for OneDrive for business. Choose this one. And then we have this one that says convert file preview. So this is in preview. However, I've used this for, I think, over a year now, um, and it's still in preview, unless this is a new one, and this is this is a new preview. Uh, but I've used this for, for a very long time, and uh, it's still in preview. So the first thing we need to do is we need to give it a file. So we need the path or the, the, or the unique identifier for the file. In my instance, what I'm just trying to do is I'm just trying to be uh, easy and now choose the uh, specific file that we're going to use for testing. So we're going to, uh, we're going to click on the folder, go to the arrow, we're going to choose the uh, Power Automate, and then we're going to choose uh, this uh, PATVD file. Actually, yes, we're going to choose that one. Uh, and what we are going to Actually, no, I'm not going to choose that one. I'm going to choose a different one, just because I want to be uh, different. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose the stop looping folder. I'm going to choose this test create file doc here. So you see that's updated. Now we then have the option for target type. So mine's an actual document, a DOCX file. So I'm going to convert it to a PDF. But the other options we actually have are GLB, HTML, or JPEG. So we can convert a PNG to a JPEG, for instance, or we can convert something to HTML or GLB. So I'm going to save and we're going to test this. So I click on test. I'm going to perform the trigger action. I'll hit save and test. And we're going to go over to our OneDrive for business. And we're just going to update this file. I'm just trying to remove uh, these. And I hit save. It's going to save and then it's going to say that the flow runs successfully. So if I close this, this folder down and we go in here, um, it sometimes takes a little while to render that, so we're trying to drop out and drop back in. We're going to convert file and we can see, yep, yeah, it's picked this file up and it's converted it to a PDF, or at least we think. So if we go back into OneDrive for Business and we go into the Stop Looping folder, we can see that we've got the file here. However, the file is still a Word document. So we can see the files here. We can see we've got the information here, but it's not converted to a, um, it's not been converted to a, uh, a PDF at the moment. And the reason for that is that if we look at this, it's actually giving us the output here. So the convert file doesn't convert a file. It gives you a conversion of that file that you can then use somewhere else. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Edit. We're going to click on New Step. We're going to go back to OneDrive for Business. Choose that. And then we're going to Create File. So the Create File, we're going to stick it in a specific path. So we're going to stick it in that same folder as the, um, as the Stop Looping and, and the other file. Uh, the reason for that is that we don't want to accidentally trigger this. So we went too far. I'll choose that one. Got that. Then we need a name. So we'll choose Convert PDF file, uh, file test dot PDF. Uh, I think I misspelled that there. Uh, that's capital I. So lowercase I. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to choose the file content. So in this, we're going to use a dynamic content from this convert file step here, and we're going to put that into file content from the dynamic content in here. And what that's going to do is, when that triggers, we're going to pick this up going to convert it and then the output of that we're going to put into a new file. So what we'll do is we'll hit test and we'll just use the previous run uh, and we'll hit save and test uh, and that's saved and that is running 
and we can see that that one's passed, that one's passed, and we've got two seconds, and then this one is passed. And then this one has output a file, and we can already see that we've got some stuff like the path here, we've got the last modified on, we've got the application, etc. If we go back to OneDrive for Business, um, if we just give it a second, uh, or maybe go back into that folder, there it is. Just took a second to render. Uh, we have the convert uh, PDF file test. We can click that. It opens in um, in Chrome in my PDF Adobe Reader, and we can see that this is now a PDF file. It's no longer a Word file. So that is how convert file works. So the convert file basically generates and does that function for you, but then you need to do something with that output. So that's not going to just create or not just going to convert that file. It's going to convert it, give you an output, but then you then need to do something with the output, like creating a new file for that output. So I hope this was useful. I hope this explains what convert file does. It's not as simple as just hit a button. Um, there's a couple, a couple more bits to it. So I hope this explains it. Did you know that this was here? I've I said I've used this convert file um, for uh, at least at least a year, probably a couple of years now. Um, because one of the things that I do with it is that um, because I work with the Dynamics people, um, one of the sales processes is usually sending products out to customers. They like to send them in PDF format. So you could use a Word template. You could store that Word template in Dynamics, get it picked up by Power Automate. It will convert it to a PDF, attach it back to Dynamics, and you can send that out on an email. Um, but you know, Dynamics has now got this new convert to PDF function, so I no longer need this. But that's what I used to do with this uh, about one or two years ago. So uh, what do you guys think? Is this something that you knew about? Did you know how to use it? Um, do you have any questions? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.